So, for instance, um, these are some of the highest earning YouTubers in 2018. If you look at the amount of money these guys are actually making, you know, so what it means is that that content space is open. You know, um, I won't get into the details of like how to make money on YouTube. Like I was saying, all the stuff is online. You've got your five minute videos that can literally break it down for you, how you make money on YouTube. Like you look at this kid, uh, this one, Ryan, he's seven years old. Um, he's making 22 million, that's 311 million rands a year on, online. Uh, he reviews toys, you know, he gets all these different toys from all these different companies. So, and most of these guys, like, they do what they love, you know, it doesn't have, don't think like something elaborate. So, for me, when it comes to content creation, it's about being niche. Don't, don't think like, oh, if you think this thing is going to live on TV, ah, there's a high chance it might not work online. It has to be something that's very niche, that I'm speaking to a, a very direct audience. Um, at the time, we're talking to Vimeo, uh, having a meeting with them, and one of the highest performing channels they have is a jazz channel. But I like jazz the whole day. You know, so if you think about it, there's no jazz channel. You know, and so they were speaking to a very specific niche market audience. So for me, speaking to a very specific audience, it's, it, it's very important. You know, like for instance, fashion is fashion, it's very broad. So you have to find a very, a different angle. How do I speak to an audience from, from this direction? Could be Fixburg. I don't know, maybe you, you need to brainstorm it, like, so that you give it your own, your own perspective. So guys, these are the amount of money that these guys are making. No TV, no auditions, no broadcaster, none of those things. And they own the content and they own the platform. So, and, the, and the money. So this guys, this is the potential that's there. Especially once you start developing your audience and, and everything. In South Africa, even on the continent, we haven't fully touched. You know, like we haven't scraped the surface. That's the beauty of it. The market is open. Nobody, everybody's scared because it's also a long, it's a long game. You know, especially when you play online to build the audience. It's, a, it's not like one of those, one video, ah, I'm in. Two videos, three videos. It has to be very consistent. And you just keep, you keep pushing. Find ways to market. Use your friends. They start sharing your videos. And the, and the more you start building your audience, you start also doing things like merchandising. There's something called click funnel. Um, so what click funnel does is that at the bottom of, of bottom of your video, let me say you sell clothes. So I keep using home as an example. Let me say you sell clothes, right? You're showing them, oh, this is how you stitch this hat or and things like that. Then at the bottom, there's a link there. You've got an online shop. If you want to buy the final product, you click here. It's your shop. You don't have to be at Edgar's. You don't have to be anywhere. Use things like your Amazon and all those things. So whatever I'm saying, if it doesn't make any sense, guys, all this information is online. Just literally Google is your best, best friend. He's your friend, he's your mother, he's your grandfather, he's your family. You know, like really use the internet wisely. Don't be like black Twitter, logging on every day, screaming and shouting at people. You know, like use it for, to grow your business. Like, because the audience is there. You know, make it more productive. Uh, next slide, please. So this is the kid who's making that, like, seven years old. Um, so what, what also makes it very different with him is that he also sells, he, he also has his online shop. So he's found different ways in which to monetize. Because what I've also noticed is that some guys, um, you know, like, you've got the audience, everybody likes your stuff and everything, but you're not monetizing. So you're famous, but you're not making money. You know, and because fame, being famous doesn't automatically mean that you're going to be making money. And also, um, when you're in the influencer thing, the, um, the realm is that you don't have much control because you have to wait for an agency to call you, advertisers or somebody. And there's lots and lots of influencers. So you're competing with thousands and thousands of people. But if with this kind of format, when you own your online shops, your own audience, there's a bit more control that you have. You don't depend on other people. So the, I think in essence, this talk is just about self-sufficiency. You know, like how you can actually go out and make things happen without having to go and beg and steal and rob and things like that. 